What's good, people? Not this movie. <laughs> I am Jake, and I am Gen X. And I am Anna, and I am Gen Z. And we, we are, are generational, generational geeks. geeks. Today, we are going to talk about Birds of Prey and, and the, the fantabulous emancipation, emancipation of one, one Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. Way too long of a name. Tone it down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you've been following us for a while, you'll know that this is our first in-depth movie review. and It will not contain spoilers. Yes. That will be a separate video. Yeah, I'm, we're going to do Which, a rant on this video. Yeah, it's not really a, uh, I guess, review. It's going to be more of a rant. Yeah. So, we will only be talking about stuff that you saw in the trailers. And, and stuff that has really no effect on the plot. Yeah. So, we're going to give an outline about what we thought was good, what we thought was bad, and then we will provide a final rating at the end. So, this movie is rated R for strong violence and language throughout, and it does contain some sexual and drug contain. material. <laughs> contain. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, I would not recommend this for kids or preteens, and depending on your teenager, maybe not even for them. Yeah, they don't want to waste their time. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> so this is a sequel to Suicide Squad, and it takes place... Which we have right there. After Harley Quinn and Joker break up, which leaves Harley in a pretty vulnerable position. Since she's not the clown prince of crime's girlfriend anymore, yes. he can't protect her. So Suicide Squad, for me... <laughs> I liked it a lot the first time I saw it. It was we saw it in theaters opening weekend, uh, and I, we all seemed to enjoy it. And then when the Blu-ray came out, we bought the Blu-ray, watched it again, and it was just like I kind of wondered what I saw in it to begin with. So, with that said, I think Harley Quinn was the best part of that movie, and. Margot Robbie's performance in the movie was was good and I think the writing for that character in particular was good even if the rest of the movie was kind of a mess. I think the only good part of that movie was her and I guess some of the plot was okay cuz it <laughs> contained it. the witch. Well, <laughs> not just that. I think they did a pretty good job with Croc. Oh, that was cool. He was a cool character. Yeah. But, they, I mean, he wasn't really in it much, so... Just like that one... Are we allowed spoilers for Suicide Squad? Because yes. it's been out for so long. Okay. Just like that one guy that was the first to get his head blown off. Yes. I don't remember his name, but he had potential, and they just kind of... Yeah. Tossed him aside. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm... like a lot of the Game of Thrones characters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with you anymore. <laughs> Death. <laughs> So, back to Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. And the fantabulous amounts. Yes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Black Mask is the bad guy. Along with Zaz. Oh, yeah, Zaz works for him. And he's got a beef to settle with Harley. That's all in the trailer. Uh, they don't really say why in the trailers, <laughs> but they do show that he, they, he does yeah. have an issue with her. Um, but it's, owns, it's pretty predictable in the movie, so. He owns some sort of nightclub thing. Yeah, he's got a bunch of different stuff going on. Which is weird, because the, the way they portrayed Black Mask in this wasn't very Black See, I don't know anything about Black Mask, so I can't tell you if it was true to character or not. Well, he was one of the protagonists in the Arkham Asylum game. Oh, yeah. Arkham City or Arkham Asylum? I don't remember the oh, difference, okay. but it's somewhere back here. <laughs> so the title was Birds of Prey, but it was really 80% Harley, Harley Quinn, Quinn, which if the performance and the writing would have been as good as Suicide Squad for Harley Quinn, I would have been okay with, but the writing for this movie and, and Harley Quinn's yeah, it just wasn't there. Margot Robbie's performance in this one. Yeah, and I don't know if that's 
I don't know why, but it just wasn't there. So nothing really stood out as positive for this movie other than the fact that it had some entertainment value. Entertainment? It was entertaining to watch to a certain extent, but it did not make up for the How lack bad of, it was. of a good story. <laughs> the, yeah, the yeah. lack of goodness. Uh, any of the performances, I didn't find any of the performances all that great. And even like Rosie Perez, her character oh, was... That was yeah. really bad. I, yeah, I didn't care for her character or her performance of the character. And yeah, it was... Even my wife fell asleep and she likes these kind of movies. So, I don't know. It it's just, like... The plot to me was like a 12-year-old had written it. And then they scrapped it for a while and put it in a box never to be seen again until eight years later when they went back to it without rereading anything they had already written down and just started continuing. And they had like five minutes to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I was just... A lot of times I'll have low expectations for a movie like I did with this one. Especially DC movies. Yeah. <laughs> Which is sad. But this one great. did did not surpass even my low expectations. And I had I guess I was holding on a little bit of hope just because they did a good job with Wonder Woman and even Aquaman had its good moments and Shazam was a great movie. But yeah, that was I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. So like I said, Harley Quinn was the best part of Suicide Squad, and in here it was just kind of meh. I don't I know really what care they for it. did to her. It's like, well, for one, Margot Robbie didn't act as well in this one. Yeah, but that might have been coming from the director, too. Yes, that. I'm not just blaming her. Yeah. For two, her accent wasn't the same, and it was a lot less Brooklyn-ish. It was... Well, and when she did do it, it seemed like a lot more forced. Is a lot or on like Margot Suicide Robbie. Squad, it was more natural, and then this one, it just kind of seemed forced. So, uh, I'm not sure what happened. So, my final rating for this, and simply due to it having some entertainment value, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. My rating was 3, but after rethinking some things that are spoilers, so I'm not going to talk about them. I'm going to have to give it a four. <laughs> and we didn't like uh, Rise of Skywalker at all. But we gave that a seven. I think I gave it like a six. So us, Yeah, I think I gave that one a seven. Yeah. So us saying four and five kind of tells you how much we didn't like this yeah. movie. Uh, unless I absolutely have to, I won't watch this movie again. I definitely will not buy it on streaming or Blu-ray or in any fantabulous fashion <laughs> so we are going to do a rant as we talked about earlier uh, when I first was doing the outline for our discussion for this non-spoiler review I just came to the point where I was thinking about it and, and you were it was angry. just making me more angry so I decided we'll do a rant and that will be a separate video, probably in a day or two. And when we're done with that one, we'll come back and put the link to that one in the description for this one. And that one will have spoilers. Mainly because it is the rant. And yes. We need to get our frustration out. <laughs> <laughs> and in times like quarantine, we can't go to that one place that lets you smash glass. So I don't think we have one of those around here anyways. So if you're watching this video and you like our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Unless if you like you this like video, birds. give it a like. <laughs> yeah, if you liked Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, you, can you probably don't like us. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> but check out some other videos. You. We, we might agree on some things. So check us out. Link for our Facebook will be in the description. And until next time, I am Jake. I am Gen X. 
I am Anna. And I am Gen Z. We, we are, are Generational, Generational Geeks. Geeks.